All right, back out in the garage, XL7 project. Um, lots of stuff missing here. Huh. Dirty timing chain cover there. Grab balls. Dirty valves cover there. But it's got nothing on this one. I mean, this thing is just. No wonder the chains didn't last. Anyhow, uh, we were I was told couldn't do it in the vehicle. But I'm here to tell you, on the right vehicle it can be done. Um, we uh, we followed the directions we found, rolled around till our cam flats were up there. Took that chain off, rolled around till those can flats back there were up took the rest of the chains off got our colored links on our chain lined up with our mark the proper marks on the cams got that on there new guide new swing arm new tensioner pop that up lined up all the marks down there new guide new tensioner we, there's one tensioner down but right there we did not change because we there was some internet discussion about the that the position that thing is set at the factory but i don't know and we didn't change that one because it didn't look but none of them really look bad chained anyway everything lined up there got all that lined up put all that on pop that tensioner on and then we rolled the crankshaft from that time mark to that time mark I don't know, nah, whatever. And then put the old back chain on. Mark lined up the colored link with the mark, colored link with the mark, which lined up with the window and the sprocket down there. Everything seems to line up just like the vid just said. So hopefully we'll watch the guy knew what the hell he was talking about. Um, but yeah, did it all in. <laughs> Did it all in the car. Told it couldn't be done. But I don't know that the guy that told me that had ever worked on one of these. <clears throat> Anyhow, like I say, I'm gonna tomorrow I'm gonna work on cleaning those up real good. Cleaning that up. <clears throat> Underneath those there is a package that's got a new uh, front main seal. These are where the uh, camshaft actuators for the variable timing go, I believe. There's seals for that. There's a new seal for the back side of the water pump. A uh, new seal for the front side of the water pump. Yeah, I'll work on getting this thing all cleaned up, getting that all cleaned up, and then uh, when the, when my son stops in next, we'll work on. I mean, yeah, he took it off. He can put it back on, right? <laughs> but uh, pile of aluminum scrap off the tensioners, and there's some whole bunch of steel scrap down in there off the chains and whatnot so anyway suck zuki whatever you want to call it timing chain replacement <laughs> did her in frame for guys that got more time than they have money or intelligence it can be done <laughs> so anywho uh, still want to get back on the 302 project I think, I think what I'm waiting on is like water pump stuff. I may just buy a rebuilt water pump rather than trying to fix the one I got. It's not bad. It just, well, it's this far apart. I'd, I'd rather, but anyway, anywho. Um, Y'all have some time tomorrow to get out here and clean. Hopefully the old torpedo will keep up. We're supposed to get some cold, cold weather tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, anyway, that's where we're at, out here in the garage. <laughs> What a oh! Well, that ugly thing. Everybody needs a monkey lamp, right? Chimpanzee, whatever they are. Anywho, uh, yeah, I gotta clean up too. I might do some of that tomorrow. Anyway, Suzuki XL7 out in the garage. We'll be back. <laughs>